Hey guys, and we're back for the final installment of, oh, no, it's not Let's Play. <laughs> it's Dead Rising 2 K0, and we are getting the Still Creek Savior achievement for saving all of the people, survivors, I guess, uh, in the town. Um, it's the first one. It's right after you get the bike. As soon, uh, right after the queen cutscene, he'll be right in front of you on top of the van. Kill the zombies, talk to him, he'll take you to his pawn shop, and he's safe. That is all you have to do. You do not take this you do not take this guy back to the gas station. Um I don't know if he counts really as a survivor because he doesn't pop up as safe in the uh stat book, but you know, I'm pretty sure it still counts. Uh this is are the second and third people you save and immediately after and I mean immediately after you help Dick, just come over here to the bar right across the street. Just like walk along the gas station, go straight down, and you'll walk in this bar. And you just gotta talk to the girl to get her to follow you. But the guy, you have to give him two beers for him to follow you. And I'll be doing that right now. The beers are right in the bar. I mean, I don't know why you have to hand them to him. This is just some fat, lazy bastard. Yeah, give, give me a beer. And there's one literally on that bar behind him. And he just that lazy. But yeah, you give him two beers. He's a lightweight, so he uh, he pukes. And there you go. After he's done puking, he will follow you. And then you just take these guys back to the safe house. And there are your first two in the safe house. Alright, here I'm going to show you how to get into Bob's. Uh, hunting store. Um, in case you don't know how. I, I said it in like five other videos. But if you're just watching this one, I figured I'd show it again. Literally just um, come around here. Like as if you're talking to Bob. Who is shooting lots of zombies. And then you go this way. You do not go to the right. You can go to the right if you want to. You like walk along the edges. But yeah. I... Kind of um, dilly dally here. That's my fault. I right, jump over to this air vent. I even spin around in circles. <laughs> I jump over to this air vent and then jump to this one. There'll be a handgun there if you want it. And just go straight here. Make a left. Don't jump because it'll hurt if you jump and fall. Jump up on this thing to the left. And then right in that hole right there. Fall through there to open up Bob's. And you need to do this to get two, three survivors. Four? Four, actually. All right, now. We're at the bowling alley, which is a little later uh, in the story. Bob will tell you about all these people. And he'll yell at you. And these people have lost their friend. And you have to find their friend. But you need Zombrex to um, uh, get their friend to come with you. And you don't have to um, play the whole story through. So you can use that Zombrex you found earlier if you don't want to buy some. But if you want to buy some, you can, uh, I have a video up on how to make money. And you can just buy some in the pawn shop for $25,000. So you talk to them and they tell you that their friend's in a quarantine zone. And then you have to go to the quarantine zone to get their friend. But yeah, like I said, you can use the Zombrex that you find in the ambulance. And, um, because you do not have to, you can finish all this and get the achievement before you had to give, uh, Katie her Zombrex shot. And if you do not give Katie your Zombrex shot, you uh, automatic fail. Game over. Obviously. Also, that ending, is it's just depressing. <laughs> he just goes, you don't even see her. He just goes in and goes, oh, no. Those zombies are freaking her out. You know, he goes on like his, on his knees and goes, Katie. And it's depressing. So anyway, you go to her. And she's hurt. Because she was bit by a zombie. And she asks you for Zombrex. And I have two here, but you only, like I said, you only need one. But if you want to save Katie in the end and do this in the same playthrough, you need to. And I'm pretty sure the only other way you can get it is by buying it in the pawn shop. But it's not that hard if you go check that money thing out. All right, then um, get her to join you to get her to Zombrax. Carry her back to the bowling alley. Kick that fat ass over. And then you talk to these two girls again. That was a nice kick. And then, you know. 
Once they're done talking, you just, uh, you can pick her back up if you want to. I'm pretty sure she can walk. I don't even know. Oh, flying bowling ball. And then walk back to the safe room and you get another three. And that is a total of five so far. Six if you count tick. Okay, here we are going to get, see, see that broadsword? You need that. Before you go save these two behind the department store, Bob will tell you about them. Uh, get the broadsword first. It's in the store we opened up earlier, Bob's store. Uh, you need this because the guy will not follow you. These two will not follow you until you give them a broadsword. It's also for a bike part. But once again, you don't need to make the bike or save Katie or do anything to get this achievement. Talk to this guy who's being annoying. Because he's uh, killing zombies. I should be helping, I guess. I have that sword out, but I don't really care. Okay, after he talks to you for a little while. It's the, it's the guy with the uh, handlebars as the weapon. Not the guy with the bat. Talk to him. And then he will ask you for the broadsword. Give it to him. He'll give you the handlebars. And then follow. they will both follow you. Now take those two to the safe room, and then when 7 o'clock rolls around, once you get the cutscene of the zombies going crazy, um, Bob will tell you that he found his daughter, and he wants you to go check on her, and blah, blah, blah. And you just go from where Bob is, go down into Bob's store, which is the second reason why he had to open it, and she will be right in here on the left. What's happening? Just talk to her. You don't have to do anything special for this one. This one's just more of an annoyance, especially if you want to save Katie, because uh, you can only do this uh, at 7. I don't, And, you know, if you go save Katie, you have to do the boss fight, and then the next thing you know, you got to get out of here because the military's going to show up. So then she tells you that she won't go anywhere until uh, you get her dad to uh, come back. So you got to climb all the way back up here, and you have to get Bob to go down to get his daughter. And then you get Bob, and you just simply go back down yet again to get his daughter. And then you get his daughter, you walk back to the safe room, and your achievement will pop right there, which is escort complete. And here I just show you a quick list of the achievement. There's 12 people, but um, one's a psychopath and the other one's a dick. So I hope it helped. So subscribe, thumbs up, and uh, thanks for watching.